hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome thank you for subscribing if you haven't subscribed already what are you waiting for what are you waiting for just subscribe right now like i don't get it i understand but yeah go ahead and hit that like comment down below and then subscribe if you haven't already um in today's video i'm doing a huge grocery haul just well not a huge but a normal grocery haul I just came from central market so i'll be letting you guys know the amount that i spent in my business i know and then just what i got so first i clean off my island with this lysol kitchen pro because i like to disinfect my kitchen before i put all this stuff on there and yeah i went to central market if you were wondering so yeah let's get into this video come on You know I got me a grocery wagon and it makes life easier, especially if you have elevators. So I think my camera's crooked. Let me fix that. Alright, so we got to get it started, get it poppy. First things first. Let's get out these out. And when doing groceries, you want to move quickly because you don't want you want to get everything put up as quick as possible. I just cut. Let me show. Let me focus camera. Y'all, I just cut myself on my ring light. What the heck? I'm trying to do a video for y'all. Woo! Let me wash my hands again. Wait, I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make a little window space so y'all can kind of see. Still see me? Okay. Then... All right. So starting with the receipt, I got everything out the way. So starting with the receipt, I, I spent. A hundred and seventy eight dollars and eight cents on groceries. These groceries are gonna last me all week. I am not gonna eat out, I'm not gonna need to go to the store for anything except some cornstarch. They were out of cornstarch for some reason, so I gotta go to a different store later on and get some cornstarch. Alright, so the first the first thing can y'all see me? I cannot see my camera, so I hope y'all is a good angle for y'all. So I have these corn dogs. Uh, it's a morning star brand. It's veggie, so no, it's not. Um, it's no meat. It's plant based corn dogs. They're really good actually. You just stick them in the oven for about 20 minutes. Flip them in between. Put some mustard, whatever you want to put on there. It's pretty good. So I got that, and I'm putting them up at the top, y'all. We got bare naked granola. I got the honey almond kind. I got Jack. I want to start getting him more quality food, like natural food. I got him sweet potato fries, y'all. I got to come closely after see this. He's going to be so excited when I give him these. These are sweet potato fries for dogs, y'all. And look how they look on the inside. It give you a glimpse of how they look on the inside. He's going to be super, super stoked about those. And then... I got some whole wheat fresh bread. Get your bread from the bakery. No matter what grocery store you go to, you can get your bread from the bakery section where they freshly slice it and all that. They even sell whole loaves and you can slice it yourself how thick you want it. But I get the ones that are pre-sliced. Thank me later. Get your bread from the bakery. That's all I gotta say. And then we got some croissants. Um, me and Zach love H-E-B and Central Market croissants. If you didn't know, H-E-B and Central Market kind of intertwine. So like, 
we don't have a lot of HEBs in Dallas area yet, but they're supposedly building some out here, but they got Central Market, so yeah, Central Market and HEB is okay with me. Uh, we got the HEB Apple Juice. They have HEB products as well, if you didn't know that. So if you go to Central Market and you miss HEB and you live in the Dallas-Fort Worth area and you need an HEB, you don't live by one, go to Central Market to get like your HEB faves. I promise you, they have a lot of HEB brands. Um, but I got apple juice. We use these with our smoothies. Another tip, I'll drink my smoothies with almond milk uh, for more protein. But my smoothies taste way better with apple juice. Um, I forgot who I got that tip from, but apple juice is a truth. Try apple juice when making your smoothies instead of orange juice and almond milk. Thank me later. Thank me later. All right, so that bag's empty, and I keep these bags and use them as like trash bags when I juice to throw like my shavings in here, anything I don't need for my juice, my produce in here. Just a trash bag because it's paper. So we into the produce right now. So I'm gonna put a couple, I'm gonna put a couple out. You gotta go, go dig for that hole. All right, so. Okay, so I got a cantaloupe, which I'm excited to cut. And then I got a golden honeydew melon, which I'm excited to cut. So I usually cut up fruits like this, put them in the fridge in a container, and they be a mother freaking one. I'm um, gonna put them in a high standards basket. No, I'm gonna put them over here. So they can stay right there. All right, so we got those melons. I got three oranges. The oranges usually we get them to make fresh orange juice. Well, Zach gets them to make fresh orange juice, but I got them this time to make, um, when I make seafood, I like using lemons and oranges. So we got three oranges for that. And yeah, I'm kind of hungry. And I usually clean all my produce before I put it up with vinegar and water. So I leave it out on the counter until I clean it. Clean it, it's not, unless it's something that goes in the fridge like cabbage. I got some cabbage. I wanna make some cabbage to go with um, our meal this week. So I'm gonna put that in the fridge. Alrighty. Then I got some canola oil because I wanna make these jalapeno, fried jalapeno ball looking things. I'll probably show y'all, but I got some oil to fry those in. And then I got some cream cheese. This is dairy free cream cheese. The brand is Kate Hill. I like this brand. It is quality, so it is a little bit up there in price. I believe it's like $7, but this cream cheese, oh, it's Kite Hill. Not Kate Hill, Kite Hill. But if you like Kite, uh, dairy free products, this is a great brand. Kite Hill cream cheese, Kite Hill yogurt, A1. I've tried it. I wouldn't steer you in the wrong direction. I wouldn't. I got these. Me and Zach drink water a lot. Like we don't really buy drinks anymore like that. We have our moments, but I got this red grapefruit lemonade with sweet tea mix. This is the Texas tea, y'all. If you ain't never had a Texas tea, these these things are good. And then I have the strawberry white tea. So I just got two of these for me and Zach for dinner. Of course, we got some shredded monetary jack, some shredded jack cheese. This is for the jalapeno stuff poppers that I'm gonna make. Oh, let me. Let me put y'all on. Okay. So I don't, I don't know if I usually. I gotta come closer. I don't know if I usually. If I've told y'all yet, but if I haven't put y'all on to this, but bio seasonings in bulk, bio seasonings like from the like spice section, not from like the aisle where they already come in the bottles. Of course you're gonna buy your normal seasonings, but like fresh seasonings in bulk that you can put in your own little baggie, A1. This is called traditional shrimp and crab boil. And y'all, all right, the camera, fo the camera is focused y'all. Look at the details of this. 
This is seafood boil, fresh seasoning, y'all. I know this is gonna be A1. I know it is. Putting y'all on. I got multiple bags like this, but I... And y'all, just look at the details. Hold on. Let the camera focus. The camera fo the camera is focused, y'all. Look at the details of this. This is seafood boil, fresh seasoning, y'all. I know this is going to be A1. I know it is. Putting y'all on. I got multiple bags like this, but I gotta buy bottles to put them in when I buy them. This is garlic powder. This is a six pepper seasoning. I also have a lemon pepper and I also have a habanero seasoning. A1. And then, my battery is blinking, guys. All right. I also have some celery. I wanna make some green juice this week for me and Zach. So I got a celery, apples to go with that golden apples and then just some cucumbers i'm keeping it simple i usually keep it simple when i make our juices like basic is basic i got some corn for we doing a seafood boil for dinner so i got some fresh corn that we cut up put in the boil and then we got some more apples zach loves apples so i buy him apples all the time when i go to the grocery store and then i got some chocolate this is this is called Tony's Chogo Lonely. So it's like it's supposed to be really natural chocolate. I got two bars for like some snacks, some good, some good like guilty pleasure snacks, but still not that bad. And then I got some dark sweet cherries frozen. We got a lot of frozen fruit in there, but we don't have cherries. Cherries are really good for you. And we put these in our like smoothies when we make them. We got some potatoes for the seafood boil. We got my cucumbers here. I got three. I love cucumbers, y'all. I love cucumbers, celery. I love, I love produce, honestly. I got some green onion for our meals, one of our meals. Let me put that up. I hope my battery don't die on y'all. I'm trying to go fast now since my battery's blinking. I got jalapenos for the poppers I told y'all about. Oh my gosh, I love these peppers. These are called Fresno peppers. These red Fresno peppers, I love them. If you're a spice person, get those, get some habaneros, put them in any dish, they're gonna be good. I got some boiler onions, so like the mini little onions for seafood boils, or I just use them regular. And I got lemons, of course. I got some uh, already made tamales from Central Market. They have some good tamales, um, because I'm hungry right now, I haven't eaten today. So I'm gonna eat those when I'm done. And then we got green onions here. We got some eggs for the seafood boil and for like breakfast. We got apple cider vinegar to cook with, with the mother. Apple cider vinegar with the mother. We got bananas. And then almost done guys. We got some I don't even know what kind this is. This is called Wild Caught Coho Salmon Filet. So we got salmon. We're eating salmon for dinner tomorrow and then we're eating a seafood bowl tonight. So we're eating crab tonight. And yeah, y'all, that's pretty much all I got from Central Market. I hope you guys enjoyed this grocery haul and I hope I gave you some ideas for dinner, lunch, whatever. And if you want me to do more in-depth grocery hauls, like when I do a huge one, or if I do a grocery haul for juicing, I can do that for y'all. So just let me know in the comments, you know, what y'all would like to see, and I'll give it to you if it's within my character and within my brand of YouTube. So yeah, y'all, I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Join the team, join the road to a thousand subscribers. Let's get me there. And yeah, tell a friend to tell your mama to tell your daughter to tell your son to tell your sister to tell your daddy to tell the pastor to tell your aunt to tell your teacher to tell your coworker to tell everybody. You feel me? We out of here. Love y'all.